Welcome to this Windows channel and today we're going to talk about a controversial setting. It is the Wi-Fi Sense setting in Windows 10 and we'll uh, you know try to take out the myth and the reality of Wi-Fi Sense in Windows 10. Uh, first of all Wi-Fi Sense, the idea behind Wi-Fi Sense is not a bad idea. It's that instead of having to give your Wi-Fi password to your friends, for example, or entering it yourself, Wi-Fi Sense will actually connect your friends to your network. And the, the good thing about it is that it's encrypted. So it means that when you share that information with your friends, they never see it. They don't know your password. A lot of people have been saying, oh, wow, my password is going to be revealed to everyone on Facebook and so on. No they never see it and they will never have it unless they are on your connection and can share it. Second, um, it's not that bad of an issue for another reason. Every time you connect to a new Wi-Fi, uh, it asks you, do you want to share the connection? It asks you out in the open. It's not like that option is some obscure thing uh, that you never see. And that's a lot of people been saying that, you know, it's like, oh, yeah, but look, it shares our connection, gives the password to everyone. We don't know about it. Not at all. It doesn't share if you don't want and it asks you every time you connect to a Wi-Fi network. But you can turn it off if you never, never want to use that option. And I personally will not use the automatic option. I personally will prefer to enter, you know, the information myself on a friend's computer or a phone so they can use my Wi-Fi instead of using this type of feature. And another reason you'll see is um, how the feature works. So go into the bottom right and notifications, go into all settings, go into network and internet. You'll see your uh, Wi-Fi and the Wi-Fi of your neighbors, as you see here, lots of neighbors. Mine is the one at the top that says connected. But go down and it says manage Wi-Fi settings. Here you have Wi-Fi Sense. When you look at your connection down that page, you'll see if you're shared or not. As you see here, mine says not shared. And the reason why it's not shared is because I decided I don't want to share it. Of course, you can click on it and share if you want. Wi-Fi Sense is there to try to help you make connections easier with your friends and contacts. But I don't want to use that option. And another reason why I don't like it is because look at how it works. Uh, for networks selected, share them with my Outlook contacts, Skype contacts, Facebook friends. You can, you know, remove check marks if you want and just share with whichever uh, option you choose. But the problem that I find with Wi-Fi Sense is that it's not really useful. I don't like it because I'd rather have the possibility to share with specific friends. So, for example, if I choose fa Facebook friends, it's an all or nothing. So, it means that all my friends that come over and are in the area of my network can typically use my connection if I leave this check mark there. Like I said, they'll never see the password. It's an automatic process. But you know, I would have preferred if I could say, well, Facebook friends and then check mark the ones that I want specifically and that is maybe the bad part of the Wi-Fi sense it's an all or nothing you can't really choose so it's not really cool so you know all you have to do is just switch off everything and here goes your no more in the Wi-Fi sense and it's just not gonna share anymore and not gonna work anymore and you know what? Like I said, every time you connect to a new network, it always asks you if you want to share or not. So it's not like this is a very, you know, obscure setting. You have the option and you have that question all the time. So um, that's why I don't really understand why people are going crazy over Wi-Fi Sense, basically. If you enjoy my videos, want to subscribe to my channel, you'll be informed when your videos are online. For any comments, questions, anything you want to know about Windows, why not ask? And we'll try to post a video. We'll try to help you if you have problems. Hopefully, if we can. 
and uh, by subscribing you'll know when new videos are online and I post tons of videos so you'll have you know uh, typ typically many videos a day talking about Windows so you'll learn more about news and all sorts of interesting facts about Windows and how to use Windows 10 and uh, give us thumbs up if you enjoy my videos because it really helps in the ratings on YouTube and hopefully you enjoy the videos and welcome back to our channel. Thank you for watching.